Okay, y'all probably can't see me. But this is Tony from Into What Activity. Welcome to my channel. Hit <laughs> like, share, and subscribe down below. Excuse me for that. Um I'm coming on because of Ephesians 3.17. Um this scripture is uh something about the fullness of God. You know, a lot of people not understanding what the fullness of God really inculcates, what it holds. <coughs> Throat chakra, you feel me? Don't want don't even want to let me speak. Ephesians 3:17. The fullness of God. Fullness. I ain't say the armor. I said the fullness of God. It's like being like a uh, the people who came from Galilee or some shit like that. I don't know. You know, uh, uh Gilead, you know. They praising and singing Selah. Selah. They sing the praises to God, right? Listen. The fullness of God also requires something that man has nothing. Man has shit today. They don't they don't possess this. And if they do, it's limited. But is God limited? Is God limited when he shares it with you? How about when you see it upon others? Are you instantly uh, jealous because God's grace has graced another person and not you? Where's your heart at? What are you feeling? How did you feel your friend went out and bought the same car? As maybe that you described to her, right? Follow me. I'm going somewhere with it. It's cool. <laughs> uh, drunkards, nor sinners, nor, you know, whatever you want to say. They're they not inheriting God's kingdom, right? So, what kind of mindset do you have to be in to allow yourself to get upset about something that person did? And you know it was in spite of you. Because they did it to the T in which you described it. You know what I'm saying? You intuitively felt in the spirit. And it moves. You feel me? Like you can't contain God. How do you hold where he goes? You don't put him in a box, man. He puts you in one. Dusty, okay? <laughs> ashes the ashes, dust the dusty over here, okay? So, um... The fullness of God just loves. It vibrates love. It try to gravitation in me. I, I'm not, it's not even a fucking word. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I'm so fired up about it that it's just cool to feel. So my downloads are my downloads. Yes, I watch other people and inspiration. It don't matter where it's coming from. They speaking about God. I hear scripture. I might do something on it who knows <laughs> I don't know but what I'm saying is I love the word of God since a babe it's a seed planted God has been telling Jesus was telling you like I might come back you don't know what I'm gonna be the preacher telling you he dressed up as a bum and they treated him like he was a piece of shit on the scum of the earth or some shit like excuse me in my French you feel me because I really am American. <laughs> but <laughs> you know me, you know me. Oh, okay, let me let me let me level let me level spirit real quick for this week. I'm glad you're here. If you're watching it, cool. I appreciate you watching. Keep watching. You're gonna hear something over here. I'm breaking spirits. Spirits is gonna attack me while I'm doing this shit. But understand that. Everyone has a divine plan for their life. They have to carry out something that God either wanted them to have courage about or it didn't matter how it was dressed up. 
Do you hear the word of God there? Is God there? Is that something that you can help pray out of that situation? God's doing his separating. It's time to come in. He's calling his shepherds to come on in. He keep ringing the bell and y'all keep ignoring it like it's not happening. Like it's not happening. Like you didn't hear those horns being blown. Uh, they were being blown in the corners of the earth. Like in these last, what, four or five years or something. I remember in between that time and now. Like maybe four or five years ago or between now. Like there's been some horns that's been set to be being blown. And you can see clouds. But if there's aliens, who the fuck they are the gods? That's why they doing this to us. You know what I'm saying? We like some type of experiments. And they've been trying to break down our force field forever. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we call it alien. We call it God. We reach our higher self. We doing all type of stuff over here. Okay. We, we changed the name. The, the conversation is changing because the language is upgrading. You feel me? If I may be a stenographer for a second um, and stenographer my report before I get it because I come speaking from experience of like, I mean, ugh, yay ha, yay ha, Yahweh, ha, sh Woo! So I'm feeling a spirit move in the church and the pastors and they're like yeah you know something is off whack there is a lot of us getting caught up in things that we should not be doing the people are correct about the churches the people are not lying something is going on in in the church homes and in, in the jehovah witness homes and there's there's things going on in people homes that we're not aware of but they're bringing them to the masses hush, hush. oh shit geez. You got to better take care of your people. You got to look after the ones that's that's more knowledgeable versus the ones who don't know. I'm going to be honest with you because the more you know, the more abundant you are, the more you get to rescue and help others. And people going to listen to you, though. They got to want to hear what you got to say. So I figured I'll turn off the looks for a minute and you can stop looking at me. But can you listen to me? Can you listen to me? Whether this is in a relationship, whether this is in a friendship, a partnership, whether this is in a religion, whether this is God, where are your listening skills? Where are you setting that on actually hearing to understand God? But even after you under and, and understand God <laughs> and comprehend him for yourself, that's putting on your full arm comprehending word self holy spirit god jesus jehovah allah Ishallah, okay his will shall be done in the name of jesus there's no curse that god can't break so he's coming to you with fashions to show you that yes these are still spirit beings that still love us that still praise us that still has praise in them for us that just want to sing to Jah, you feel me? <laughs> so, and I don't mean uh, Jay-Z, you know. Um, just saying, though. I mean, literally, Jehovah. Jehovah. And I've never felt ashamed to say it, like, ever. I've had to hold up pamphlets, you know, in the freezing cold. I've had to listen to the people, hear their cries, hear their moans, hear their groans, hear their growing pains, hear their gripes about their parents. You feel me? Hear the loss of their pets. You go out as a sheep amongst the wolves because you don't have no fear of evil for Jesus, what, Kanye, <laughs> walks with me through the valley of the shadow of the death that I shall not fear because it's just us, Dusty. <laughs> I 
It's just dust. I don't know what else to say. I'm goofy about that shit. <laughs> so, you going to catch me on a good day every day, you know. Um, dimes are always going to be just that. You rub them together, you can make a mighty wish. <laughs> you got 20. <laughs> At first, you only had the thought of the illusion of having just 10. Somehow... You rubbing two, you rubbing two nickels, or you rubbing two dimes. You sitting on something. God then tore you off. You were smart. You didn't put up. You didn't save man. Stop. And the Bible told us that his currency ain't gonna mean shit in a minute. He's gonna be throwing it in the street. Ah, oh, sure, sure. Praise God to all those people who listened when there was a stream open. Some people took a stream that a lot of people won't take. Some people bit a bit a, a fish that was just bittersweet. Because now you feel like you're chasing a dream. Now you feel like you're chasing some hope. Now you feel like you just you praying and wishing and waiting on God. You waiting on. Him. You banging the floors. You clapping your hands. You listening and waiting and wanna be. You wanna. You just wanna dance with the snake. You know, like Dance With My Father by Luther Vandross. Oh, how I miss you so, so, such a sweet spirit. Jesus. Yes. Never cared about any of whatever was being said about it. Never paid it no mind. Mm. But if I couldn't love my family, man, the same as I, I, I love something as Man, <laughs> some people be blind, blind to truth of themselves, blind of truth of of others. Um, some people live through rose-colored glasses just to, just so they don't have to feel the energy of others. Like uh, I swear, I don't like to feel it. I'm not waking up betting every day on somebody else's downfall. Why would I want to not see you succeed? Why would I not want to see you pass go and collect $200? <laughs> Why would I not want to be sitting up in the dark banging on a bowl? You know, praying for a blessing to happen for you right now. Praying that God get your baby off that, what is that, life support? Oh, that's fucked up. How did you get there? What have you been doing? You know, God has a conscience. If you don't have that, this ain't your channel. You know what I'm saying? I got a conscience over here. I'm conscious. I'm aware of what my people does to each other. I'm aware of what I've done to myself. I take full uh, responsibility for whatever the fuck I've done, whatever I do, wherever I go. I stand in my right as a human being. I stand in my power as a sign, a Leo, a, a fire sign, Jesus' own fire sign. You know what I'm saying? A jump around hippie. I don't smoke weed and whoever. You feel me? God has opened me up to so many layers. It's how do you speak to sons of God? How do you sit at a table with kings? Ah. My auntie told me that's the step. I don't know this leg moves on its own, so forgive me. If you see me in person, I might rock and pedal my feet because the spirit get high in me and it likes to move around. I allow it to. <laughs> I invite Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost in to take over and guide my thoughts, my ways, my errors, my backtracks, my, you know, whatever, my forgiveness, my life, my likenesses, my selfishness, my whatever. Everything I try to gear up under the Holy Spirit and I let it rest there before I come and tune in and talk to people. Um, 
I try to share repetitive things so they'll prompt you to go get a whole story on what I've already shared. Um, I like being a storyteller in a sense. I love Bill Cosby, you know, and everybody know Bill can tell a story. <laughs> tell a pudding fucking pops, okay? Yes, pops is like a number one um, I can't help that I want to raise the vibrations of my own people, but I still love us as a collective. You know what I'm saying? But I do have a soft spot for my people because I am my people. Okay? So I do welcome y'all and I'm glad y'all are here. But, you know, I have saw a lot of death, you know, and that shit damages you, you know. So I feel my people from the street, from the bus stops, from walking, going and trying to praise God to, to get a car or get that home for your babies or get your children back because somebody abused you, not me abusing them. And then a sweet spirit comes upon me and I feel people praying. So I've always felt that. I don't lash out until the world lashes out at me because I know that what I've gone through ain't been shit but the mud. So I've been dragged and I've gone to these places, to these ways of worship, to these congregated areas of worship, to the one we call Omega Almighty. And I don't mean Bruce, bitch. <laughs> I mean Omega, Almighty, Jehovah, Jireh, these aliens. You feel me? So, spirit is high in Galilee right now. And in Gilead. Um, there are storms coming. That men are going to be able to come back from. Um, there's a storm brewing because man has once fell God. You know, man has once again done his thing instead of God's way. So. Peace has to be restored. Balance has to be restored. He's not going to let those who ruin this fucking earth. Gosh, gosh, gosh. I could do more by throwing trash on the ground than the filth that y'all claim I let come out my mouth in the name of Jesus because the name. <laughs> that book, bitch, is getting y'all all in trouble. That book getting you in trouble. So I don't read books based on the cover anymore. I've gone in inwardly and I've released things that God's that God wants me to. Um, I will be set an example, you know, because um, Father, I have sinned. I'm, I'm one of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm here with you right now going through this video trying to tell you how to humble yourself before God, how to tell God that you love him despite your flaws, despite the heated warnings and all of these things and he still sustains your life and you're disease free and you don't have shit and you haven't given anybody shit. They don't have record of anything. They can't find you. They're not trying to even really ping you. They know who you know what the fuck you come from. You come with a trail of shit. Because you got it from the mud. So there's a trail following you from the mud. You know what I'm saying? So people try to pull that energy on you from the dark phases of your life. And they come and they thrive and they mediate around you in terror. Okay? This is what happens on this channel. They mediate around you in terror. 
and they all come with the crystal balls and they all hold their balls with their dicks, they eight inches and they try to shove it up inside of you and say, God sent it to you. Take it, bitch. <laughs> Oh, Christianity, Christianity, okay? <laughs> what the fuck are we on today? <laughs> so some of y'all are getting caught with your pants down, you know? That's Christianity today, okay? So we need to upgrade ourselves on our itinerary and what's really happening around here. This is why people are maybe going to other churches or what have you, because the truth Nas is telling you, you got it going Illmatic now. <laughs> you got this nigga going ill. He like, I don't even know what's going on today. Bitch, I'm speechless. <laughs> so I don't know if they going to let me upload this. Y'all know I like to attach music. Go cop the latest Nas, okay? Go get Illmatic into it. Get ill with it for real. Like, really get your motherfucking... Get into your spirit. Tap into your zen. Hold on one second. So I'm back, y'all. Sorry for cutting the spirit. That's that spirit being cut here, okay? It happens with a particular kid most of the time. Because all the other kids will come up, they'll hear me, and they'll go back down. Or they'll text me. Or they'll just come up, be quiet, and sit. This particular one, she likes to cut spirit, yo. Okay, so it is always something like, ah, oh, shush. I pray about it. Y'all pray for me. You feel me? So I came to do something here. I am going somewhere with it. It's my, it's going to be at my own pace. If you rocking with me, hit like, share, and subscribe down below. I am a different flow and wave of shit. I got some updated shit up in me with some new tactics like, but my thing is, like, understanding where you come from, knowing what your foundation is, having that build from the ground, that seed has already been planted in you. God saw that it was going to be some bullshit for you. He knew your shit was going to be rocky. You might feel like you want to fall off edge, but I pray against and sustain in the name of Jesus every motherfucking okay excuse me jesus christ i'm trying to tell you every motherfucking suicidal demon being captured by an angel right now in the name of jesus in the name of god being captured by an angel of light of life and it's capturing this demon of lying, a life of toil, hurt, pain, okay, idiocracy, hypocrisy. <laughs> Be a testament to something good, God tells you daily. Why man just can't follow? They never follow suit. They always find a loophole in some shit here on earth okay so um if we gonna get through a loophole let the cussing be one let it go it's just cuss words what the fuck am i okay ephesians okay i'm gonna tell you one more time ephesians three seventeen. it's not the yarn it's not the yarn i love y'all i hope y'all got something from this i love coming on and having this time with y'all Y'all have a good evening. I hope y'all liked it. Um, it is different, but it is me. And it comes out a lot. And the scriptures are going to be based different. Um, I just, I mean, I'm going with what God has got me, allowing me to flow with. Um, I said, yes, there are upgrades, <laughs> you know. Like the Christians want to hear, it. she's gonna change that, right? Like, is that gonna move? Like, it, it. <laughs> Jesus be fits all around me. Okay, be fits, be more than a fence. Okay, 
understand that somebody else have to strain the gaps <laughs> you know people there's angels being out here at work and a it's evil so sometimes you gotta capture people gotta capture that evil before they allow it to fester into something else but you only can do that by the grace of God you only can come out alive by the grace of God I'm trying to tell you you're not coming out no other kind of way so as I, I some I, I kind of knew already it was like intuitively I was already told something by somebody that I feel like it's not a lie and when I did what people told me to do and saw results just like pew, it was there like I had snapped my fingers and, and something was like <laughs> we're here come on believe us believe us believe 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 do you really need all the candles did they say Jesus offered up candles sacrificial lambs what did he offer up to God besides praise prayer conversation his hope his faith his belief mm. something in your faith something in your belief something in your belief system where have you fallen off pattern at? oh yeah where's the question and what is God's will for man what is God's will man earth for earth his earth he designed it it's his <laughs> I say this often it may be repetitive and it feels good when I say it because I don't have a problem with rendering up service to it. it's God's this shit ain't mine I know I perish from this I'm like the perishables in my cabinets in my refrigerator after time goes by this ends you can't have this it's rotten it's nothing no more so why would I take on the position of not being humble in the flesh? Somewhere in my heart, somewhere in my spirit, I was born with a set of tools that logs me right back in the God when I stray off a little bit too far. Okay. Um, call me an energy saver. I got an energy saver somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you push God's button and say energy saver. <laughs> you heard it first over here, okay? But it's like God does remove things because I used to really curse way more than this. Anybody else who knows me, like if you talk to somebody who really, really, really freaking know me, okay, they know I will not. I, I didn't used to substitute cuss words at all. I didn't give two flying fish farts, frying pans. I don't give a fuck how you put it. <laughs> I didn't give two fucks, okay? So, in a sense, I still don't know. But it's like, my heart is so conditioned towards God in a certain way. And it's not like it's a tweak of the system either. You know, I'm not tricking God. God just knows my heart. I'm penetrable when I talk to people. My words can cut like what God tells you in the Bible yes so some of us are on here maybe kings of swords you know some of y'all in y'all stanzas right now don't forget yes this is a tarot channel <laughs> but God is in the midst he's up to something he's always working through things trying to make sure that you know people understand like don't ever stop don't ever give up don't ever stop praying to God to see your way his way for your fleshly man body way but it's his way you gotta let him have his way and that's why I said there there's upgrades so stay tuned Christian you know there is upgrades God is already putting some things on my heart you haven't really heard the cuss words so you might have got a little hint already he wants me to really cut down cut down if I can help it like literally i'm feeling the presence of god telling me to change the way i speak because there's something in the spoken word of man that's cursed you feel me so to use their language in any kind of form is kind of like redundant or 
blasphemous to God. Um, even with the Tarot, they feel like, you know, a lot of the churches or what have you, denominations, I don't know if people believe in prophetic word, but I wasn't told I was a prophet. And I've always felt like I was intuitive as a child because I picked up on people's energy early as hell. But when I went to church, they they, they turned me and shut me away. It was some type of jealousy or something. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I was telling people about it. And instead of people actually hearing what the fuck I had to say, you know, I had to get this little my her type of shit, you know, like. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm on the fence with the kingdom hall i'm on the fence with the church i'm on the fence with all this shit as far as religion because of just that so stay tuned for upgrades you know god's still working with me on my channel um if you've tuned in you wondering what this quirky ass bitch talking about <laughs> enjoy the conversation go ahead and listen to the video all over again there's Bible scriptural based things in there for you to grasp hold of. I really forge you towards God outside of even me. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't telling you I'm God on my channel, bitch. I ain't crazy out on the street tweeting the D. My motherfucking thumb saying, oh, bitch, I'm crazy. You know? No. People are literally having real life issues. People have ailments in their body. People are having all type of things going on in their household. And God is just, he's had enough. So he's up at night when you think you've got the upper hand. He's working. I'm trying to tell you, he's working. He's working a night shift too, baby. So y'all stay tuned for updates on, you know, like behavioral things. I like to talk about a lot too because we don't understand that this video went 30 minutes in and I was supposed to get off at 20. But... I'm glad you're here. If you've stayed this long, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. Add to the channel. Um, I do do personal reads and so on and so forth. I just keep that shit straight, raw, real. Um, I don't know how else to give it to you, but raw. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, LDB. But it's like... <clears throat> understand. Understand. Regardless of how raw things get, you still got to be careful who you pull your pants down with. <laughs>